<laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back. I, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of explaining to do, but I can't really find the words to explain myself, so rather than trapping you all here in a video just bumbling along, I'm just going to skip the explanation and just get straight to the video. Maybe I'll explain some other time, but for now, we can just enjoy this time together. So, if you haven't guessed already by the thumbnail or the title of this video, I did a redraw of my Glass Bottle Co. character. You remember her? Yeah. When designing this new one, I wanted to be more along the lines of a print because I've been trying to make things so I can sell. I've actually opened a Patreon for my birthday a few weeks ago. It has four tiers that you can be, and all the money would go to me opening a store and all my projects that I have. So if you like any of my work and you want to help me reach my dream of doing this full time, then consider joining. But with that out of the way, let's get back to the video. I wanted to make this a little more design and composition focused overall versus just focusing on the character like I had initially done in the first video. I knew that I wanted to keep the shape of the glass bottle in the final, but I wasn't too sure on how to have it. So like any artist that lacks inspiration, I took to Pinterest to help. Originally, I was thinking of having her stand in the middle of the bottle and having the outside area sort of be blank, similar to this wolf art done by Polar Sirens on Tumblr and this pumpkin art done by ABD Illustrates. But then I felt like it was a little too confining for what I wanted and I didn't think it would look good, so I switched gears. I did still want to have a strong bottle shape, sort of like this pill illustration by Sanchi Chen. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Obviously, I wanted to have the faces show, but now with some ideas cooking in my head. <laughs> I was able to get the business. The biggest difference in the composition is that this print actually had some. <laughs> Past me was not focused on making the pose dynamic, but we've grown and we've learned. This one isn't so much more dynamic, but at least she isn't just standing there. I still wanted to keep her in a cool sort of relaxed position. I mentioned this in the other video that I took a lot of inspiration for this character for my older sister and I think it still ended up looking a lot like her which I still find to be a little funny. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. I also wanted to point out that since I've got my iPad and have been using Procreate I have been able to make much more dynamic work. I don't know if it's because I'm drawing directly on the screen or if the program itself, but man, it is nice. I like how the sketch still looks like a pencil and it is similar to how traditional art looks. This isn't an ad, but as someone who struggled and still kind of struggles switching from traditional to digital art, the iPad is really great. I've really been able to step up my game with it. One of the main ones being now that I put a lot more emphasis in the line work of my drawing. Line weight is so important when it comes to art, and for me, I think line art really makes or breaks your art, at least when it comes to illustrations. Before, when I would look at my art style, the thing that stood out was that it was simple yet complicated, which at the time I thought was a compliment, but when you really break it down, it's more of a hot mess. You could visually see that I had bigger ideas than I could translate with the skills that I had, and to be fair, I'm still not perfect, there is a lot more that I want to learn and improve on, but I'm really liking the direction that I'm going in now. Now when I look at my art, the first thing that stands out is my line art, which I am much more happier with. Line art used to be a bit of a pain, but now I understand it a little bit more. I think there were a few times in past videos where I outright said that I hated doing line art, but line art on Procreate has been so nice and so fun to do. I really fell in love with it again. All my art recently actually has been a pretty big hit. I've been seeing a lot of improvements and I'm able to carry out my visions a lot better, or at least I'm getting closer to it every day. With this piece, I was really just kind of testing how much I had improved since the last video, which if you look at, it's really only been a little over a year since I posted that, and I've already made so much progress. It can be really hard to see yourself progress as an artist, especially in a digital age when you see so many people posting constantly, all the time, these just amazing pieces, and you're under constant pressure to just be better and work faster and be cleaner. It can all be so overwhelming. And I know that personally, I'm someone who compares themselves to other artists a lot. And it took me a really long time to learn how to use these comparisons in a way that could actually help me. 
a lot of advice that I see when people talk about improving your art is to not compare yourself to others, but that's just not realistic, especially in this day and age where there's really no avoiding it. So instead, what I've learned to do is if I see someone's art who I really love and I wish my skills were at their level, instead of bashing myself completely for not being there, instead what I do is I look at what I like about their art. Is it the colors, the shading, the line art, the composition? I identify what it is that I think makes their art good. Then I go back and I'll look at my own artwork and see what about my work is not meeting the same criteria and why. Now, I don't do this with every single thing all the time, but when I catch myself undermining all my hard work and trying to put myself down for not being better, I try to redirect that by doing this instead. It's helped me learn what I want to work on. It helps me fill that gap between what I like and where my skill level is. The first step to solving a problem is figuring out what the problem is. So this method has helped me a lot and I hope it can help you too. Also tutorials, they were my saving grace so many times as well. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to focus on in this print that I didn't really focus on in my first drawing was the coke aspect. I had her hold a little bottle, but it really wasn't there. So in this part, I wanted to add a little bit more. So I did include more of the coke aesthetic um, just into the drawing as a whole. But then I also added the soda bubbles to kind of bring in that imagery of like the carbonated soda. Um, as well as just having her be sort of like a mascot for it, which I guess is what she ended up turning out with. But I really like the improvement. I think it's done a pretty good job. And so, yeah, this is them two together. Let me know what you think in the comments and see how much I've improved. Yeah. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I am so glad that you could join me um, I may make an explanation video. I may not. I'm not gonna make any promises. I don't know. But yeah, I just enjoyed having this time with you and I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, if you can, join my Patreon. Help support me so I can do more stuff like this and make more cool stuff with you. There's some cool perks there including um, behind the scenes stuff and first early access things which is really cool. Also exclusive merch. Um, and yeah, help me open my store. That's that's the goal. That's the next goal. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.